This video assumes you already know how to use World Edit. If not, there's a link to a guide in the description. So you've got yourself an unfair map and it's looking pretty cool. You've got some different sections and it's beatable. But it looks a bit weird being in the middle of nowhere, right? So using World Edit, I'm going to show you how to make this look a lot nicer. And whilst I won't be showing you how to make this sort of style terrain, I'll be showing you how to make this style of terrain instead. And I mean, hey, maybe when I do my updated unfair map tutorial, then I can show you how to do that fancy terrain. But for now, I think for a beginner, it's perfect to learn the basics. So I'm going to show you how to use World Edit to create some basic terrain and also change the biome so we have nicer trees. So let's start with the basics and start with the biome. The first thing you want to do is you want to get a position region for your map. So we're going to go to the floor and type in slash slash POS1 just like that and hit enter. And then we're going to fly to the other corner of our map making sure everything is in place and we're going to type slash slash POS2 to get the second position and then we're going to do slash slash set biome and we're going to choose our biome. I will choose jungle so we get some nice green grass. And then you're going to have to close your world and rejoin. And then when you rejoin, what you'll see is the biome has changed. And now we have fancy trees. And then for the basic terrain, grab yourself a stick. That's what we'll use to do our painting of the terrain. Then you want to type in slash brush sphere stone five. And then you just right click wherever you're pointing and you'll get a sphere. Then all you have to do is decide how big you want the terrain area to be. If you make a mistake, just do slash slash undo. And then just keep going around like so until you get all the way back to the beginning. If you want to make your spheres lower, just change this number here to a three and then you'll get smaller circles. And then you're pretty much done. Stand inside here and see if you like it. If you don't like it, you can add some more spheres. I'm going to add a couple more up here and then down here, I'm going to do a couple more threes. So this is looking pretty good, but it does look a bit rough. So now we're going to do a smooth brush. So again, type slash slash BR for brush and do smooth and then choose a radius. I usually go with five, and then you just right click wherever you want. If it goes too big, again, you can just do slash slash undo until it resets everything, and then you can change your radius. Let's try four instead. There you go, that's a bit better. Then we're just gonna go around here, keep going around, smoothing it all out. We'll go ahead and fix this over here. And now we have some smoother terrain. You can go even further about it than that. You can smooth all the way up here as well. It's just a case of however you want it to be, but there's still one more step because it still looks like stone at the moment. So to make it look like not stone, we're going to go and grab a position selection. So we're going to go over to this corner and we're going to type in slash slash POS1. And we're going to go all the way down, even underground this time. And we're going to do slash slash POS2 just like that. Then what you want to do is you want to do slash slash. You want to do replace. Do the block you want to replace. We'll start with the stone. And for the stone, we're going to replace it with... 25% brown concrete like so and then we're going to do a comma to separate the blocks 4% spruce planks and then we'll do 10% brown wool and let's see what that looks like that looks pretty nice and then for the ground we'll do something similar so we'll do slash slash replace this is sandstone that we've got so sandstone with let's do 50% brown concrete powder and we'll do 25% forced dirt and then we'll do 1% regular dirt. Press enter, we'll see what that looks like. That looks pretty nice. And that's it. You've just made terrain for your unfair map. As I say, this is the basic version. Maybe when I make my new unfair map tutorial in the future, I'll show you how to make the new version that I use, which is much wider terrain. Looks a lot more realistic. But as I say, this is more for getting started with unfair map making. It's really simple and it brings back the classic unfair map look with the world edited spheres. Before I go, I just need to mention that this video is an extension of Nico the Pro's unfair map terrain tutorial that he did a few years ago. I would link to it in the description, but I can't find that video anywhere. So consider this your new tutorial. Any questions, leave them below. I'll try and answer them the best I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching. My name's been Happy. Go make some unfair maps. And I'll see you next time.